my first Halloween tutorial series. Thank you guys so much for leaving me all of the requests on Instagram. I'm getting to them. This is the first one to kick it off. And I actually wanted to do this one last year. And I'm actually really happy with the outcome. This is the first time I try it out. Uh, even though this is a makeup, I've done it twice today because it didn't come out the first time. But it's very sexy, over the top. I actually have tissue paper on the top, FYI, because I didn't film that. Um, and yeah, guys really really cool I love it I hope you guys get a chance to try it out please make sure to hashtag Dulce Candy if you do and I would love to see it and so let's get started oh and I have my little dagger what the dick just kidding anyway so let's get started first thing I'm doing is applying an eye primer and this is gonna go on my eyelid and I'm also gonna bring it all the way up because I'm gonna be applying eyeshadow on my forehead as well so just apply that with a your finger or a synthetic brush and then just make sure it's nicely blended. And I'm going to do that with a sponge. So I'm going to do this to both eyes and we're going to move on to the next step. Now to make blending a lot easier for the future colors that I'm going to be using, I'm going to take a translucent powder and just dust this right on top of the eyelid primer. Trust me, this makes blending a lot easier. And the next color that I'm taking is a purple and I'm going to grab it from the 88 color palette. Um, it's a shimmery color, it doesn't have to be shimmery, it could be matte, so just take a purple eyeshadow color and with a blending brush, apply that to the crease and also right on the brow bone. The next eyeshadow color that I'll be using is a white matte eyeshadow. You can use this one that I have here or just any white eyeshadow and with a flat shader brush, apply this to your eyelid space. So now this is the fun part. Um, take a really trusted, very easy to work with liquid eyeliner. Uh, whichever one it is that you have, I prefer a felt tip just because I have more control with the tip and begin by outlining the top lash line and winging it out pretty far out and then here I am filling it out just mess with it just take your time and here I'm just going to start in the outer corner of my lower lash line and just connect it to the top wing and I'm using a q-tip to make sure that edge is nice and clean and pointy so if you mess up it's okay just take a q-tip or a concealer uh, with a flat brush and just clean out the edges so you have a nice little pointy precise wing. So next I'm going to do an inner wing on the inner corner of my close to the tear ducts and I am just going to trace it all the way through my lower lash line as well. Make sure everything is completely connected all the way around. So now on to the fun colors. I'm using a pink matte eyeshadow and with a blending brush, I'm just going to start by applying this color around the inner part of my eyebrow, the beginning part, and then just start by just dabbing a little bit at a time, creating the intensity. You want it to fade upwards. You don't have to drag it all the way up because I am going to be wearing a wig and if you do wear the Elvira wig, it has bangs so you don't have to take it all the way up to your hairline and here I'm just gonna take another brush and apply a matte blue eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna create a pattern of pink blue pink or pink blue pink blue <laughs> and make sure the edges of the colors where they meet is also well blended because you want it to look as neatly as possible and the more you blend the better it looks Now you just want to add a few coats of mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Make sure you really concentrate on those lower lashes the most.
The eyelashes that I'm using are by Fright Night and these are called Dark Maiden. They contain top and lower lashes but they have such a beautiful sort of wing and it just goes perfect with the eyeliner. So I'm just going to use the top ones and apply those on. And I'm going back with my liquid eyeliner just to fix the little, you know, edges. Also make sure it's nice and even. Sometimes when I put on my false lashes, they sort of, you know, it doesn't look as even on the top. So here I'm just going to take some eye primer as well and apply that to that inner corner. And then pat a white eyeshadow right inside of that. And if you have any fallouts, especially on the black eyeliner, just trace it along with some more um, eyeliner just to clean it up. So now for the face, I'm using a face primer to even out the skin surface and also fill in any, you know, holes and imperfections. This is going to be very helpful when we use foundation, especially if you want this to last all night. Don't want anything dripping going south, northeast, southwest. <laughs> um, so next, I'm just going to take a foundation and apply a very nice layer all over my entire face and also the neck and the chest now this particular shade is lighter maybe like two shades lighter than my actual skin tone and Elvira did have really pale skin I didn't want to do white so I went with a foundation that's a lot lighter so just put that on oh and I'm using tattoo cover-up to conceal all of my moles that I have all over my face. Um, Elvira only had one and we'll be drying it on later on in the video, but just cover it up and it works best if you just pat it. You can see all of them are starting to disappear. And just take a little clean fluffy brush to blend out the edges. So now to set the liquids and creams in place, I'm using this mineral makeup powder and the shade is called Crema, which once again, it's like two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. I'm just going to dust this all over my face except the eye makeup. And for the lips, I'm using a lip liner, a red one. I would also recommend like a dark red. Um, I just happened to have this red really nearby and I just started using it. Actually, it's a little bit too bright, but I'm going to tone it down and fix it later on. So just outline and fill them in. Now for the blush, you want to pick a color that is very, very dark, almost like a brick even color. A red you can eyeshadow. Even go with you the red if you want. It's nice and intense and it gives you sort of like an 80s vibe. I'm just going to apply that to the hollow parts of my face where I usually put on the bronzer and just make sure it's nice and blended upward. So now back on the lips, I didn't really like the very bright lips that I had on with this look. Hers are usually like, you know, they have a gradient effect, sort of ombre from black to red in the inner parts of the lips. So I'm just going to take Black Dahlia and mix that color into my lips. Just make sure it's nice and blended, especially on the edges. And if you mess up, you can just take concealer and clean out the edges so you have a really nice defined lip. So 
So now I'm just going to add some more makeup in my chest to make sure this is also nice and pale because I'm wearing the costume and uh, this section is obviously going to be visible. Um, the costume, guys, I bought it last year, but the wig, which is what I'm doing right now, the wig, I just got it recently, and I'm actually really happy with it. I was gonna buy it last year, but I think they remade this wig because it looks way better. Now, I got it at a store, which I'm about to spill my secret if you guys don't know. There's this amazing store in Burbank. It's called Halloween Town, Magnolia Boulevard and they have like three different stores halloween town just google it you're gonna be like amazed because it's not like the pop-up halloween stores it's like legit costumes well they have they just have a lot of costumes and it's like dark in there and they have like all kinds of good stuff in there so that's where i got it and that's where i got a lot of my costumes this year so here i am i'm just gonna mess with the wig fix it and then brush it out with a wig brush to make sure it looks nice. And last but not least, you cannot forget about the mole. It's on the right side of the face, right on the cheekbone by the winged eyeliner. And I'm just gonna take eyeliner and just dot it in there. Make sure it's not too perfect. So here's the final look, all completed. I'm actually really happy with the outcome for this being my second attempt, full attempt. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching and please leave me your request for more Halloween tutorials down in the description bar. And I can't wait to post my second one, which is already filmed guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.